couple days from now is Ash Wednesday, in the beginning of the season of Lent, going to be here in Phoenix, and a few considerations on the origin of our world, one of the evil origins of our world today, so I'm going to call them some Holy Ghost to men. Ash Wednesday is just in a couple of days. Remember on that day we begin the season of Lent, and we start with the 40 days of fast, and of course it's a mortal sin to eat meat on Ash Wednesday, and uh, also the fasting, two small meals together shouldn't be more than the main meal, and then also to keep a fast throughout the season of Lent, from Ash Wednesday until Easter to Holy Saturday. The day of the generations can help that uh, distracted by the street name in which we find ourselves right now on Voltaire Street, at the corner of Voltaire and 55th Avenue in Phoenix and Glendale. And Voltaire happens to be one of the very important characters, evil men of history, who are responsible for our time. And Voltaire was a Frenchman who died in 1778, just before the French Revolution. And he said when he was a young man, he was baptized a Catholic. And of course he was raised as a young Catholic, but he was a rationalist and believed that reason would conquer the church. And that religion was an enemy to reason. And religion was a menace to the world. And the greatest menace was a man by the name of Jesus Christ. And Voltaire said, it took 12 men to establish Christianity. But I, Voltaire, will demolish it alone. He was completely confident in himself and in the power of reason, and that he would destroy Christianity. He would lay the foundations that would bring an end to the Christianity, bring an end to the Catholic Church, bring an end to the Christian world. And he knew that it would take some time, but he said the key to this victory is to put reason over God. Because in fact, remember that in the beginning of time, in the beginning of time, uh, Lucifer, he, well, he said, I will not serve, non serviam. I will not serve a God who is going to tell me to do something that I consider to be unreasonable. And God told the angels that he was going to become a man. He told the angels that he was going to rule the entire universe in the form of human flesh, which is lower than that of the angels. And Lucifer said, this is not rational. He was the first rationalist, Lucifer. This is not rational for God to lower himself to the level of mankind. When he should stay high in the position of God and leave men down at the bottom. And he told the other angels, what God is doing is unreasonable. What God is doing, he gave us reason, we're supposed to use our reason. And he's doing something irrational, therefore non servia. I will not serve a God who is doing something that I think is irrational. And one third of all the angels in heaven followed him, and they became the devils, and hell was formed. 300 years ago, in the 1700s, a follower of Lucifer was born on this earth in France, and Voltaire was his name. And Voltaire decided he would follow the example of Satan, and he, was, and he came at the right time. When men were sick of the church, and also when the church was also beginning to show various signs of corruption, when there was war between the, the church had already divided, and Protestants left the church, and Protestants stole churches from the Catholics, and they were killing the Catholics, and Catholics were killing the Protestants, and they took Voltaire and said, see, this is what happens in religion. Religion brings about death. But if you follow reason, there will be peace. There will be no more death. Religion brings violence. Religion brings oppression. Religion brings injustice. But follow reason, and there shall be freedom and peace. We should separate the church from the state, because the church is nothing but trouble, and besides, it's at best only good for the spirituality of someone's heart, but it's not good for real world. Keep religion out of politics. Keep religion out of workplace. Keep religion out of the world, and the world will run peacefully. Let us have a revolution in France, a revolution of reason, a revolution of enlightenment, a revolution of freedom. And he was the one who was one of the great men of evil men who laid the foundations for the liberty, equality, and fraternity. 
He died in 1778. Just after his death, the revolution began. But before he died, he recognized a truth that all Satanists and all enemies of God recognize. In order to fight truth, you must understand truth. In order to fight God, you must know who God is. In order to fight against the kingdom of God, you must know what his kingdom is on church, on earth. And Voltaire had no fear of the Protestants. He had no problem with Protestants. They were not a threat to him. They were his friends. He had a problem only with the Holy Roman Catholic Church. He had no problem with the great intellectuals of his day. He realized the great mind that destroys the lie of his false rationalism was St. Thomas Aquinas. So Voltaire went to a monastery and stayed there for six months. And the rumor went all around France, Voltaire is repenting. Voltaire is going back to the faith. No, he was not, said Bishop Sheen. No, he wasn't. He was in that monastery reading the Summa Theologica of St. Thomas Aquinas, the greatest mind that ever lived. And Voltaire was reading the objections. Because St. Thomas, throughout his book, he says, is there a God? Well, no. Well, the first the objection is, there's, there can be no God. Because there's evil in the world. If there is evil in the world, there can't be a God, therefore there can be no God. And then he answers why there truly is a God. And Voltaire wrote down the objections, and he never read the answers. He wrote down the objections, and he memorized the objections, and he put those objections into his assault against God. Because St. Thomas knew the objections better than he did, and he went straight to St. Thomas to learn how to do the objections so that he could promote them. He was wicked in the deepest part of his heart, a great evil man. And Voltaire got the revolution going. And they took his revolution in practice and they said, we follow the ways of Voltaire, we follow the ways of the Enlightenment, and we're going to bring peace in the world. And so what happened? In 1793, 1792, in Paris and France, that it's called the Terror. The Terror is what happened. Because when they came to bring this revolution of freedom, they found that they had to kill the priests. They had to kill the nuns. They had to kill the heads of families. They had to kill the Catholics. They had to kill those who were considered the bourgeois, the leaders in society. And they chopped off their heads, and they chopped off their heads, and they chopped off their heads. In the name of peace, they brought great bloodshed. And since Voltaire came, and his ideas spread in the world, and religion has been retreating and retreating and retreating. And the words freedom have been used more than any other t time of history. And yet we are more slaves than we ever were before. We have more laws than we ever had to deal with in human history. And, the, and, the, and we talk about equality. But we all have to be ob obedient to the state or else we're going to be put to death. We're going to be shut out. We're going to be isolated. And we're not going to be able to function in society. And more bloodshed than ever happened in all previous history happened in the last 300 years since Voltaire's ideas about reason being better than God. True reason leads one to God. True reason makes one adore the true God. But his reason is not the reason of the mind that was given to us by God, but is the reason of the selfishness and the pride that is the imitation of Satan. And this reason has taken over our world today. Voltaire burns now in hell. And his ideas and his revolution against God has spread throughout the entire world. He foresaw the day when his ideas would destroy the church. They are now destroying the church completely. He foresaw the day when religion will be wiped out and no longer be a point of consideration in any important decisions except to... to, to, to isolate religion and destroy religion. 300 years after his death, almost 200 years after his death, St. Pius X would say that the modernists, the children of Voltaire, that they were the enemies of the Catholic religion. But not only the enemies of the Catholic religion, but the enemies of all religion, that all religion would be wiped out by this great evil that came from the Protestants' revolution and developed into Voltaire, and then from Voltaire into our modern times. He foresaw the death and destruction of the church. 
But he did not foresee is the power of heaven. He didn't foresee that the Blessed Virgin Mary is more powerful than Satan. And our Lord is more powerful than Satan. And that there will be an end of this wicked revolution that was started several hundred years ago. And that justice shall come back and God shall come back. And Voltaire and his revolution shall be defeated. And all that Voltaire was, was an imitator of Lucifer, who took the rebellion of Lucifer and tried to apply it in our times by saying, my reason tells me, a lying false reason, that I will not serve a God who goes against my reason, goes against my pride, goes against my ideas. When we follow God, we adore God, and His thoughts are not our thoughts, His ways are not our ways, and He shall have His victory over Voltaire, He shall have His victory over the Satanic Revolution in France, and, the, and also the Revolution in the United States, and the modern revolutions who try to put His ideas into our world to destroy Christianity, and He shall not succeed. Now violence is spreading throughout the world, oppression is spreading throughout the world, but it shall be wiped out and brought and by, by bringing back Christ and the, and the truth of Christ. And remember our Lord said, the truth shall set you free. And we are, we are going to receive that truth again when the Blessed Virgin Mary has her victory over the wicked ideas and rebellion of Voltaire and his life. And we'll close the day, God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.